Hello YouTube, I'm Dabby45 and welcome to my channel. And today we are joined with Jacob again. And what we'll be doing for this video is ranking our top five favorite attractions in Disneyland. Not California Adventure, however, just Disneyland. Just kind of keep it short. We may do a California Adventure one a little bit later, but right now we're just focusing on Disneyland. So yeah, so would you like to start off with your top five? All right, we, so... And then we can just, you just say it and we'll discuss it. Okay, yeah, later. so my... Number five ride is Autopia. So I chose Autopia because it's a it's a really cool ride where that you know you feel like you're actually riding the car. You know, it's not like a ride where you know you kind of sit down and you kind of look everywhere. You know, you're actually driving the car, and you know the ride is fun. And what makes it more fun is that it depends on who's the driver. Like you know, if you're going with someone else. And they're like a wacky driver you know you're gonna you're gonna bump around and you're gonna be like dude get a grip of the wheel man but yeah i i really like that ride because of that and it's also nostalgic because it's uh one of the uh i guess in our terms it's old because it's been there since we were kids and um i, th I, th I think it was an opening day attraction like or one of the oh was it one of the very first oh yeah there, there you go wow yeah so that's like mm -hmm. you know that's an old ride <laughs> So that's a that's my number five. What's what's yours? So my number five is the Roger Rabbit ride, which is in Toontown. I like that ride because I do like the movie Roger Rabbit. Like, Who Framed Roger Rabbit? It's enjoy. I really wish they used more Roger Rabbit in the, in the like Disneyland because I really like that character. Very goofy, like very classic, like cartoon character. Mm -hmm. And it's like a kind of a take on the teacups. You know how you just spin around in a circle. Yeah, yeah. This is takes you on a track and you can spin around too because it's called. Roger Rabbit's cartoon spin, which is you just like kind of spin in your car and it takes you like, basically just through Toontown. And I, I like it, it's I like the cartoony aesthetic in it, and I really like that ride. So, yeah, nice. All right, so my number four is Buzz Lightyear. So I chose Buzz Lightyear because you know, also the interaction too. This one feels more interaction interactive because. You know, sort of like the Roger Rabbit ride, you know, you you could actually spin the ride itself, the little cart, you know, in circles, or, um, you you know, you have the gun, the little laser gun, you can actually, like, shoot the, the, the whatever, the goons, you know, the robots in the, in the ride, and what's cool about it, too, is that almost like the ride in, um, uh, California Adventure, the Toy Story Mania, you can also score your points, you know, you could see, you know, which, which person got the, the higher score, you know, and it's it's really cool. It's 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 pretty interesting because what I like about this one a lot more than the Toy Story Mania is that you could actually see the little red dot, you know, shoot out, and you could actually see your target. Whereas yeah. Toy Story Mania, it's it's just a screen, you know, and it the one in Toy Story Mania loses its value because it's you know you're just looking at a screen. Whereas Toy Story, you get actual you know built. And uh, uh, some animatronics, but they're more just kind of statues that are moving like that. Yeah. And that's cool, you know, when every time I see like a big old thing, you know, some realism in, a, in the ride, it, it always gives me that enjoyment. Uh, I like it better. The Baron Toy Mania that you don't have to like pull back the thing. Oh, yeah, just, that like, gets annoying. Just, you just have to like, use the yeah. trigger, which I think is easier. That's when you have to like, Dude, yeah, yeah after you, Toy Story. Especially yeah. like, at the end where you just do as fast as you can. And just like, oh, yeah. Just, just, like, take, you, know, just, <laughs> you walk out of that ride, you're all sweating <laughs> like, <"Ugh." laughs> Yeah. yeah. Uh, what's, uh, what's yours? My number four would be the Jungle Cruise. No, I really like the Jungle Cruise. It's really slow paced and it's just, you're just on, it's like relaxing. I like it because it's just there's like kind of right in there, and it, I like the jokes. Even though there's all corny jokes and a lot of them do get repetitive once you ride them multiple times, I still appreciate them. I'm like, I also give them a little like laugh because I'm like, hey, I like it. Just, yeah, <laughs> I, I just sit there to relax. It's a really like chill ride. I just sit down and kind of just like look at the little animatronics and just like see them make the jokes and stuff. So. Yeah, they get creative, you know, some of the people, like, you'll get, you'll get some really funny, like, you know, early people, people in their early 20s, you know, they'll crack some, like, millennial jokes, and then the older crowd will be like, 
What? <laughs> They'll be all confused, yeah. That's yeah. what's good on so. Yeah, they probably if you go I feel like if you go earlier in the day you'll get better uh yeah, experiences, uh, they'll not be tired or like long shift. Yeah. They tend to be pretty good throughout the whole time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I like about that right too. It's cool. Um so my uh, my number three is the uh so this one is actually it was hard for me to choose my number three because I had two spots but one of the ride the other ride that I didn't choose didn't make the list at all just because it's the same theme but I chose the Millennium Falcon uh, ride over Star Tours and that being said I chose the Millennium Falcon ride just because you know when when the first time I went on it I was immersed I felt like I was actually in the Millennium Falcon and that's like cr pretty crazy to pull off you know in and of itself you know you're the loading area you know you're in the Falcon you know you see the the chess um what is that chess game that they play in the Falcon I forget what it's called yeah I forgot what it's called but um it's it's cool that you know you get to see that and then you actually walk into the cockpit and that's you know really cool you know you see the, the two thrusters um right there in front of the screen and i i enjoy that a lot i i think that's like one of the coolest rides ever you know you actually get to fly that thing you get to shoot the lasers the you know and then also the engineering too you could uh, press all the buttons and it'll turn on the the you know it'll fix the ship so that's that's my my number three so all right my number three would be Buzz Lightyear, like you said earlier. I really appreciate it. Pretty much said everything that I would say is like it's really great that you're shooting at it. Uh, I like it better in Toy Story Mania also, and it's just it's like the most classic ones I would feel. Also, I like take even though I like taking the pictures and then just emailing it to myself but on it. However, the quality of the camera for some reason got worse. Like it got really fuzzy for some reason now. But oh, right. I didn't even replace it, but still enjoy that ride. Mm -hmm. Pretty fun. I, 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 I can ride it a lot too. Nice. All right. So my uh, oh yeah, number three. Number two. Oh yeah, number, number two. Number yeah. two. Okay. So my number two is the Indiana Jones ride. So this ride for me, it's it's just amazing. Let me tell you. I first off, I love Indiana Jones, but my love for Indiana Jones does not have anything to do with my placement of the ranks for the ride because this ride. What's really cool about it is that you you're on this uh this jeep right and this jeep kind of takes you around but it only it doesn't only take you around but you also feel like you know the the ragged uh the tracks you know it, it feels like you're on a real jeep you know you're kind of getting thrown around like that i know every time i ride that ride i'm always with my brother or sister and i always either they elbow me or i elbow them just because we're all you know like it's all hectic but that's cool, and what I love is the the use of animatronics for um, uh, Indiana Jones himself. You know, at the beginning when he's trying to shut the door to the that entrance, uh, he it looks really cool and it looks lifelike, and it's it's just really cool. I like how they mixed in a bunch of different effects. You know, especially with the um, the the snake at one point where it's a big old animatronic and it looks like it's about to you know bite your head off, but it's just like <laughs> that, that's cool. I, I like that ride a lot. It's uh, it really feels nostalgic to me too. Also, what I like about it is you know you're going into this giant area. You see basically the whole ride, and um, it's cool how you could you also see the whole ride, but you're also going through each little part of it. So that's my uh, number two spot. My number two spot would be Star Tours. Like you said, Million Falcon like was yours, but the reason why I chose Star Tours over Million Falcon is because. Like you don't really so you have different experiences on the Millennium Falcon because it depends on what you get whether you're the pilot, gunner, or the engineer. So like when I went, I got I think I got either I think it was the gunner or something. I forget which one it was, but of course you're just there like kind of hitting a button and like it's cool, like it's interesting. It's, I like how it is, but I just don't get the same experience as if I were like the pilot, which would be cool where you're like going left and right and stuff. So sure, like maybe my opinion would change if I were in the pilot. Like, but I'm not sure like I just didn't enjoy it as much as I could have but with Star Tours everyone had the same like uh, same experience and I do li like how it is and I just really like that one a lot it has such a place in my heart too and I really like Star Wars and I like the how it, it works too so that'll be my number two all right so 
my number one spot and this could be totally biased i think it is totally biased but it's uh the haunted mansion so i place that one as my number one spot because when i was a kid honestly i was kind of scared i was scared but then i grew to love being scared and that's why now i'm super into like you know horror movies and all that but i think it all stemmed from that ride itself and what i like about the ride is just all the unique effects that it does like especially in the waiting room when you're going down that elevator you know you see the side of the walls and the painting it's all like uh, it looks like the paintings are stretching but it's actually just revealing the whole painting whereas first you're just seeing a little portion of the painting and i thought that was like the coolest thing ever i you know when i was a kid i saw it and i was like what is going on like how is that happening and then it's cool and another thing that i love about this ride is when they retheme it every uh halloween till christmas to have the nightmare before christmas that's that's like one of my favorite movies ever and that's uh that's kind of why i um why i like that ride it's just very it's very nostalgic to me and i just you know i love all the effects so that's uh that's my number one i really like the retheme at the end of christmas oh huh, yeah also like but something i know i can know about you is that you like really a lot of like classic monster movies mm -hmm. like dracula like the wolf man and that does have like that sort of like yeah. feeling to it like, yeah. it's like like all those classic like horror movies and stuff yeah so, i already got that on my phone look <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> but yeah all right and then my number one is big thunder mountain so something about me is that i don't like rise of drops so this one is, can be a surprise for some people but the reason why i like it is that there's no drops there it just goes fast you just like kind of go there are just like slight inclines but it's not enough that would make me like feel sick to my stomach it's a it's a fun ride in my opinion i like going through it of course i was scared when i first went on this one because knowing me like i thought i just didn't like fast rides but this proved that i do just when there's drops what i don't like so i i think it's fun i don't really ride it all the time i go because i just there's a really long line and sometimes i just feel free usually i like to relax i kind of take it easy with like slower rides when i say that so yeah interesting interesting and is there like any honorable mentions you want to make i think uh in, to it? let's see an honorable mention would be uh i you know what i didn't put this in my list only because it's so new and when it came out you know that's when all this the coronavirus started and it's the rise of the resistance that's a really good ride it's you know all the animatronic work you can tell they um you can tell they really put all of what they learned throughout you know the years of making the rides and they combined it into this one because they also have a drop in this ride it also feels like um sort of in, sort of in the vein of a haunted mansion where you're in this cart and you're just kind of like going through but it's a it's um a trackless ride so it's it, it's cool it's, it's really cool that's my honorable mention what about what about you uh, for me like, i probably like it's like a couple like but winnie the pooh that one's like it's not like a ride i would be like oh yeah i love this ride a lot because it just has a special place in my heart because i went to it so much when i was younger and then i i just like it's almost like a requirement now that i still have to go because i do enjoy it and i it's like really nostalgic for me and of course shout out to the tiki room it's not a ride but i really love the tiki room yeah tiki room <laughs> yeah but i feel like a lot of rides i like in disneyland as long as there's no drop, like I, I'm cool with it. And I, I like riding it, but yeah, but there are some exceptions, but for the most part, I like it. Yeah. yeah. So, do you have anything else to add, or is that pretty much it? Um, that's really all my rides that I, that I enjoy top five and honorable mentions. Yeah. All right. So, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you'd like to see on my channel next. And again, I'll put Jacob's links all in the description below. So go down there, check it out, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. All right.